slow dance in the dark. I hate you. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like Carl Weezer? No. I think not... him and Judy should hit it off. <laughs> I... That's the worst I... thing you can I say. Will... I will hit you, Wolfie. <laughs> Why? Just no. No, no, no. Oh shit! God, I hate that song. I hate that cover. I was about to say you don't hate the song. You actually love the song. You just hate this one video where Carl Reiser is singing. Yeah. <laughs> this is a first of all. This is not even a bad cover. It's a good cover, but because it's so good, makes it bad. I mean, I hate Carl Weezer, so there you go. Carl Weezer is one of the best characters in all of Jimmy Neutron. Hell no. Okay, I'm gonna put a poll in chat. Oh, look at that. A long, long time ago. A long, long time ago. In a galaxy Ganon. <laughs> Ganon shows up and ruins everything. <laughs> now Ganon looks at something and decides, I own this. I own this block of cheese. Prepare for unforeseen consequences? I'm trying to remember where in the timeline this takes place. Good luck. Good luck, because, you know, <laughs> that's impossible. Well, actually, no, it's not possible, but it just literally feels like Nintendo bullshit her way with that book. What the hell? Oh, it's a little shadow. Oh, hi. Yeah, it's, it's evil. That... Yeah, that oh, guy. Oh, it's back. Hey. Well, I guess that's what Zico was warning me about. Jesus Christ. Oh, Could you're you... on the final boss time. Okay. Oh, it's time to win. God, I still remember beating this on my first day of high school. Mm. No lie. Yet fun. It'd be fun to switch. My... Okay, so, um, I guess it is endgame time. Oh my god, what, what is in the poll now? What does it say? Which character from Jimmy Neutron is better? Uh, neither. I never liked Carl. Jimmy Neutron. I never liked um, Jimmy Neutron. Uh, Carl. Carl. Carl Weezer. I hate Carl Weezer with a passion. Carl <laughs> Everyone hates Carl, but everyone always does impressions of Carl. <laughs> no, I love Carl. <laughs> Shut the uh, fuck up. Am I gonna up. have to start muting because god damn that is going that's doing a lot to my fucking ears. Oh sorry, am I too loud? Hold on, let me turn. <laughs> that sounds better. Yeah, you, you sound better. yeah, you sound better. Chat Dang. vote. You wanna vote for Jimmy's mom? Oh, Jimmy's Lord. mom is not an option. Just vote for either Sheen or Carl. Jimmy's mom has got it going on. I hate Jimmy's you. Jimmy's mom has got. It. No lie, Jimmy's mom is really pretty. Like, can we just can, can we just be honest with ourselves and come to the conclusion that Jimmy's mom does indeed have it going on? No, no. I like the level of Carl. I have to vote. Jimmy's for mother rubs me the wrong way. Diggity. Why? What? She's done nothing. Oh, Jimmy's mom. She's just, oh, like, you know, she represents that stereotypical mother figure that just irritates a lot of kids. Bossy, like controlling. controlling. Listen, someone's got to take her, take care of fucking Hugh. I mean, to be fair, the only good <laughs> character from Jimmy Neutron is Hugh Neutron. I mean, to be fair, he did say he sat a on a banana and it changed his life, so I'm sure he needs care after that. <laughs> I mean, aside from some moments that I found annoying from from Hugh, like the um, the Men at Work episode, 
he's actually a pretty decent dad. He's just incredibly oblivious. Oh god, he's yeah. a he's the weird one. He's a weird one. Uh, That's for a certain. thing I've seen in a lot of like old like Saturday morning cartoon shows is that they've always demonized the fathers and making them so oblivious to shit. Yeah. But oh, Jimmy, right. but the thing with that Q is that he was at least sort of he he was oblivious, but he was oblivious in the good way. Like he meant well. Yeah. Depending on the writers, anyway. There were oh episodes where. I... Uh, yeah, I mean, he seemed pretty chill with everything all together and would be very supportive of. Yeah. Like, I think the best episode was um, the way. All right, he was... kids. Remember, have fun have with fun it. it. I just love how he also, how the voice actor of Hugh Neutron kind of embraced the, the internet reputation he has. Oh yeah, and he started like taking um requests to do like anything in um in in the voices. Yeah. Sheen like... won. Sheen has ADHD. Wait, I don't Man. know why that would disqualify him from. <laughs> why would you think cool? that would disqualify him? I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. Are you ableist? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh my god. god. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Sheen at least before Planet Sheen, he was actually pretty funny. Yeah, Planet Sheen sucked ass. We, we don't <laughs> Planet Sheen. We, we just don't talk about I watched it. that series and I was just like... That was during my period during like the late 2000s where it was just like the live action shit on Cartoon Network and then like Planet Sheen on, on Nickelodeon. <laughs> it was a thing and that was it. Didn't give me much hope for cartoons in the future, I will say that much. I mean, Penguins of Madagascar was decent, but... It was better than Back at the Barnyard, oh at God. least. I liked Back at the Barnyard from a comedic standpoint, not gonna lie. There is a line from the movie that kills me. Okay, and is it just, just me, or has the do has this castle suddenly turned into the upside-down world? I mean... I mean, you you are on the last levels, right? So yeah, yeah. it would switch up a little bit. I mean, wouldn't you, wouldn't you say it would be comparable to the Dark World from, like, the past... I mean, sure. Probably, like, yeah. I can't remember the character's name, but is the old man and the lady, the lady's knitting, and the cow goes outside. He's like, oh, Bob, there's a cow outside. And he just sits in his chair, and he's like, there's a cow farm. There's going to be cows outside the farm. Oh, dear God. <laughs> okay. No, ah, ha, 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 shit. Uh, I mean, I remember um, that the entire joke of Back in the Barn Yard, mainly from the farmers, was that the lady was crazy and knew that the cows could talk, but the husband, but the farmer literally didn't shit. Apparently the farmer was also vegan, so... How does that work? What, the actor or the character? The character. Like, they said on the farm that the farmer was vegan. Like, all the animals, oh, like... shit. They, they established that the farmer God was vegan. Specifically. Oof. That seems like one of those things they just make up in a show because they think it'll be funny just because God of how it. ridiculous it is. But fucking uh, Dice in the chat says Fanboy and Chum Chum is the worst show ever. So I uh, Yes. And not Fanboy. I, I'd say there's worse than Fanboy and Chum Chum. What is I'm... worse than Fanboy and Chum Chum? You have the floor. Uh, uh, what about, you ever watch Super Diaper Babies? Uh, what the fuck uh, is Super Diaper Babies? It, it was. A... You mean Mega Babies? Mega babies, oh. yeah. That yeah, shit was just super... that's just just the just like nothing but gross ad humor and not very good. Yeah. Um oh, also Riley <laughs> Also yeah. Riley, since you referenced Super Diaper Babies, that was a Rugrats um thing. That was a Rugrats episode if I remember correctly. So I'm thinking of Mega God Babies. Damn it. Yeah. Mega Babies was definitely the uh the gross out humor one that was just bad. Yeah. And I should know because Mr. Enter really hated it. Well, I mean, can you blame him? I, I remember watching him. it when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah apparently a couple of other kids liked watching it saying, Oh, Mega Babies is on. And I'm like, what's the appeal behind that? Other than just like... Because it's Gross. like... Yeah, because it's like babies holding giant guns or something like that. It's still just like... What the fuck Gross. is this? Well, that was during that period with like super duper sumos and shit. Like... It was. Uh, it was also the um, the gross out humor era. Yeah. So, like people basically looked at Ren and Stimpy and went, "Oh, if we end up acting super gross and disgusting, that will make us have um, a big ah, hit." Except that Ren and Stimpy. 
Except that Ren and Stimpy's entire shtick was not only the bro sound, but mainly just the um, the fact that it tried to emulate cartoons from the 40s. I'm just imagining like Golden, like a nine year old Golden watching cartoons, but he has like a vest and a fedora, and he has like a neck beard at the age of nine. And oh my like, god, it's so mean. And he's just like. This cartoon is not up to my standards. Um, <laughs> he just walks actually, out of the room. <laughs> no, he goes, just um, to... actually. No, he would be... <laughs> no, 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 no. It would be him dressed up, looking like the angry video game nerd and just saying, this cartoon sucks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, listening to my older self, uh, like looking back at my older self, everybody would hate me for saying a lot of harsh things about SpongeBob back then because I hated the hell out of it. Are you are you over it now? Can you accept SpongeBob for what it is? I mean, yeah, it'll just yes and no. Like I haven't watched that much SpongeBob as of lately, and I heard that the later portion like got really bad. But mm -hmm. it just, just the... it just drove me nuts every time I heard that cheap laughter that SpongeBob had. It's like, what? Why do people find this endearing? I, I think the re like I th it's kind of hard to explain why SpongeBob was just so endearing for people. I think it was just the charisma, just the childlike behavior of SpongeBob and the likability he had, at least the original incarnation of the character. And I think it was just also because the humor was a good balance between it being for kids and also being for adults. It's so. Cool I wouldn't. I wouldn't say his laugh is endearing. I would just say his laugh is iconic because I mean, once yeah, you iconic. hear SpongeBob's laugh, it, you'll know it's SpongeBob's laugh. Yeah. Bah, bah, well, yeah. well, his, bah, I, bah, don't you endearing. fucking dare emulate that. I mean, when I mean, endearing, I will kick I mean, you from the call if you do that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying that his hu that his laugh is endearing. I mean, like him as a character. He was. He oh, was. Yeah. Dumb. He was dumb, but he was he meant well and he was a pretty decent character. He was a pretty nice guy when you really get down to it. Oh, SpongeBob. Why? My leg. Just watch the first three seasons, and that's all you really need to watch. Yeah. Basically, I mean, I yeah. And I did hear I mean, some like some things about the SpongeBob movie. The SpongeBob the movie was movie like the great. turning point of when the series started to go downhill. Well like, also Steven Hillenberg wanted the series to end after the movie. Yeah, yeah, he but, wanted but, to but like, uh, but basically, SpongeBob is Nickelodeon's Mickey, so yeah, they refused mascot. to let it. Yeah, yeah, so they refused to let it end and just decided, now we'll continue it. To which Steven Hillenburg just decided to leave, and they let other people kind of take over as the showrunner. I mean, he did That's come, he did come back, and apparently, they actually did try to improve the show again, Wait. and. That's right. I mean, I heard it got a little bit better towards the end before he died, but it was just yeah. like... I think it was more in the realms of it was too little too late, because at this point, yeah. people are just very mixed with it. Even when he did improve many things of the show, most people seem to have very big skepticism of whether or not it actually improved or not. The problem is the Nickelodeon executives have, like, the SpongeBob rule, usually, where if it doesn't match the standards of SpongeBob and, surprisingly, Owl House... It, no, it's, no, 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 Loud House, really Loud House, Loud House. Not Owl House, Loud House. Yeah, why did I confuse Owl House with Loud House? Similar pronunciations. I, yeah. Yeah, probably. Because, like, the Loud House, from what I've heard, Loud House was great, but it seems like, like with SpongeBob, the show just kind of went downhill because so many people really, really hate the Loud House movie. I gotta run to the store right quick. I'll be back in, like, ten minutes. Okay, Razor. Okay, I'm back. And regarding the Loud House, I thought the movie... I didn't see the movie, but from what I heard, nobody hated it. They just thought it was mid. Yeah. Yeah, it was just mid. It was just average. I watched the live-action Monster High movie recently. I didn't finish it, but I, I watched it. What's it Why did you do that to yourself? Because I was dragged into it by two uh, Yas people. Oh. Yas, yas, bitch, oh, yas. Gee, yas. <laughs> oh gee, I wonder. <laughs> I still hate Disney for canceling Owl House. Listen, man, as long as the finale is good, I I can give a damn. I don't I mean, want Owl House to run forever. Uh, 
I double checked this, but I heard recently that P Disney executives were caught off guard with how popular the season three. Yeah, um, they admitted it. I'm just like, yeah, maybe you shouldn't have like you been so stuck up your ass about your brand. Yeah, you know, maybe listen to what the people like and like because they're the ones who pay to watch your stuff. I'm so yeah. very I'm so. I'm still very bitter about them canceling DuckTales. Woo. They canceled DuckTales? Yeah, they yeah. They, pretty much, they pretty much were plan they pretty much were midway through season 3 and then Disney just up and said, "Yeah, DuckTales is canceled. We're pretty much wrapping the show up with the with three seasons despite the fact that it was up there with Ow. Owl House popularity." The fucker. I thought I thought it just ran its course. I didn't know they canceled. It. No, yeah. apparently they did have some ideas planned for Ducktales, you know, past season three. Basically, what I heard is that it, they got basically the syndication amount, and they decided not to do more than that. Despite like, the fact that there was so many things they could have done more with it. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, I think they did that with the original series too, where they got the syndication amount, and they would just run those year lap. Yeah. Yeah, but I kind of feel like they could have explored a lot more to it. Unless they decide to pull some sort of, like, big movie thing like they did with that with the DuckTales film, then yeah. I'm willing to give it a benefit of doubt. Also, apparently, I've, I've seen, I ended up coming across a, um, a tweet that ended up saying that they actually planned a DuckTales video game of the 2017 oh. version with Donald and, um, what's his name? And Scrooge. Yeah. But of course, Disney just was like, yeah, we're not interested, and just gave it the boot.